Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the Black Powder Editor for Guns of the Old West Magazine. And today I'm out at the range with a Remington cartridge conversion. Now, this gun is actually not a converted cap and ball revolver. This gun was made specifically to shoot cartridges, but it's a replica of the guns that were converted in the 19th century. This is built by Uberti in Italy, and it's imported by Taylors in Winchester, Virginia. The Remington New Model Army was one of the most popular revolvers of the Civil War. But by the end of that war, it was obvious to everybody that the day of loose powder and ball was over and that, that uh, the day of cartridges was really dawning. The problem was that Smith & Wesson owned the rights to revolvers with bored through cylinders so you could load a cartridge with the back of the cylinder, what we're all used to, and that's called the Roland White patent. And until they could overcome that, nobody could do anything. So Remington made an agreement with Smith & Wesson where they would license that patent to make cartridge conversions of their own revolvers, which Remington made and Smith & Wesson inspected. And the originals looked a lot like this custom uh, Remington conversion I'm showing you here. No loading gate, a very, very thin conversion plate, and the firing pin mounted on the hammer. Uh, and these were excellent guns. They were incredibly popular on the frontier. The gun you just saw being shot is made by Uberti in Italy, and it's their current configuration of the Remington New Model Army cartridge conversion. Uh, this gun's imported by Taylors and Company in Winchester, Virginia, and it differs from the original in some obvious respects. The conversion plate is much thicker and it has a loading gate, uh, which, which is pretty handy. But other than that, uh, and the firing pin is not mounted on the hammer, it's frame mounted. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much like the originals. It loads the same way, it ejects with a little simple rod that has the same balance and it's just as much fun to shoot. Well, Evil Roy is, as usual, lurking 15 yards downrange. We've got the Remington conversion, 4440. Let's see if we can smack him around a little. Well, this Remington loads very conventionally for a single action, just like a Colt, basically. You put it on half cock, so the chamber will spin free. It has a loading gate, and we just load the shells in. I'm gonna load one, I'm gonna skip one, and then I'm gonna load four more. And that will put me right under the firing pin with an empty chamber and that's what I want because that is what's safe. And last one and you'll see as I bring it up see the space so I can drop the hammer and no bang. Now the way this comes from the factory it has rebated uh, chambers so you can't see the heads of the cartridge. I actually took this to a gunsmith and I had him cut the rebates off on a lathe because I like to be able to see the cartridge heads so that I know I'm empty under the chamber. And if I use it in a SAS match, which I generally do not, but if I did, the, uh, the range officer on the loading table would also know that I've got a safe gun. So that's how you load it. Unloading the Remington cartridge conversion is a little more cumbersome than the process would become on later models. We'll put it once again on half cock. Got to open the loading gate, but we also have to drop the rammer because that frees up this ejector. And the ejector's got no spring on it, so we got to run it all the way down. I'll just show you. If we can get things lined up. Run it all the way down to punch one out. 
and then manually run it all the way back out. There's no, no spring to bring it back out for you. And if you don't do that, you can't turn it, see? So, there we go. Run it back out. And we want to hit that slot. Because if you don't hit it exactly, you know, it don't come out. And there we go, last one. So, that's how we do it. And then we run it back out, drop the rammer again, rotate it so it's flat underneath, close it, close the gate, back in business. Let's see how the Remington conversion here does against some water bottles at 15 yards. Well, I'm dead. The last guy got me. <laughs> I have to admit, I don't like to miss. So let me go see if I can clean that guy up. Some of them are harder to kill than others.